वेलकम टू जी टेक टेक्नो सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू यूक्लिट्स जोमेट्री सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ जी टेक अंडर द टॉपिक इक्लिट्स जोमेट्री वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट्स बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन फॉलोड बाई पॉइंट लाइन प्लेन Along with that, we'll be dealing with Euclid's postulates, followed by the equivalent versions of Euclid's fifth postulates. Apart from that, we'll be also dealing with Euclid's axioms and its examples. Let's go with the introduction part of the Euclid's geometry. If you see about the introduction, you can see a person who is named as Euclid. The word geometry is derived from the Greek words. geo which means earth and metron which means measure around 325 bc euclid so this is a person euclid so this person who is called as the teacher of mathematics at alexandria in egypt collected all the known work and arranged it in his famous treatise that is called as elements followed by the person named as mathematician euclid divided the elements into 13 chapters each called as a book these books influenced the whole world's understanding of geometry for generations to come up with new things apart from this euclid listed 23 definitions in a book 1 of the elements Now let's see few of the Euclid's definitions. The first and foremost definition is that he is pinpointing about a point. A point is that which has no part at all. So this is the first definition which he has been proposed. The second statement is that a line is breadthless slit. And the next one is the ends of the line are considered as points. Followed by a statement A straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself. So these are some of the considerations of the Euclid's definitions. Other than that, a surface is that which has length and breadth only. So this was one such point which has been defined by the person euclid and he is also emphasizing about edges according to him the edges of the surface are considered as lines and also he is emphasizing on a point on plane surface he proclaims that a plane surface is a surface which lies evenly with a straight lines on itself Hope you got an introduction part of Euclid's geometry and the person named Euclid has proposed so many logistics. Now we'll move on to the definition part. According to Euclid's geometry, the definitions of a point, a line and a plane are not accepted by mathematicians. Therefore, these terms are taken as undefined one. We have some depiction over here. The first one is all about a point. So a point with one dimension. If you see about the next one, it's emphasizing about the line with two dimension. And the third one is all about the plane with three dimension. So each one of this is emphasizing about the undefined one in terms of the Euclid's geometry. Now let's go with the next one. So if you see about the axioms or postulates which are considered to be the assumptions for the obvious universal truths.
they are actually not proved and an axiom is a statement which is accepted to be true without proof in terms of assumptions that are considered to be specific to geometry which are called as postulates now let's see about the euclid's postulates in detail so the first statement of euclid's postulate is that a straight line can be drawn from any point to any point so here is a description over here the next statement is that a terminated line can be produced indefinitely so you can find over here for the statement which has a value so there is a line and you can also find the terminated line that can be produced indefinitely on both the sides and the next statement according to euclid's postulate is that it is possible to describe a circle with any center at any distance and the next one is all the right angles are equal to one another so this is all about the euclid's postulate and also according to the euclid's postulate if a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side of it taken together which is less than two right angles then we can say that the two straight lines if produced indefinitely meet on that side on which the sum of angles is less than two right angles Now let's discuss about the two equivalent versions of the fifth Euclid's postulate. For every line L and for every point P not lying on L, you can see there exists a unique line M passing through P and parallel to L dash. 